I'm going to do an okay now. We're looking at pies this morning. Well, we're not actually looking at pies. We're actually looking at one pie. A pie, hopefully, if you did that first exercise that I did on the uh, Google Classroom, hopefully you've worked out this, this wonderful thing here, which is called pie, which is this, this amazing number. It's, it's, quite, it's one of these crazy things, like, have you heard of C being the speed of light? E equals mc squared, Einstein, and all that sort of stuff. Yes? Well, pi is one of these numbers that's, um, that do lots and lots of different things, and we don't really know why. Um, but anyway, I've got my calculator here, so it's <laughs> on my uh, thing. So we've got pi equals 3.15926. And it's one of these numbers that can carry on and on and on forever, basically. And there's no pattern to it. It never changes. It's, it's not 1.6666 or something like that. It's one of these numbers that just doesn't doesn't stop going. Um, and in, the, in your book there, it tells you that some scientists, some mathematicians, have put billions of numbers. They've got computers. I don't know why they do this, but they they got computers working on making uh, an output of pi that goes on for billions of characters, and still there's no there's no um, pattern in the numbers that it brings up. But for us, the important thing for us is that, as as I say, hopefully you found out, we can use pi to find out the circumference or the diameter of a circle. Okay, so that's all they talked about in um, page um, page 251 in your book, basically. It just talks about different ways that we can use pi. So what I'm going to do now is just do a couple of exercises from page um, 400, uh, sorry, 252 and 253. And then um, I'll let you carry on with them. It's easy, really. It's not difficult. All you have to do is put the number pi into the equation. The equation? What was the equation? The equation is the, the circumference of a circle equals pi times the diameter. That's all it is really. So all we have to do in all of these exercises on page 252 and 253, all we have to do is to put the numbers into this equation. So we start with question one, A, okay, and we have here that the diameter equals seven, what's the circumference? So all we have to do is put it into the equation, circumference equals pi times the diameter equals um, pi times seven equals I'll just use 3.14. If you've got your calculator, as it says in the book there, if you've got your calculator, your calculator can have a, um, a, a, a separate key on it for pi, because pi is important. Yes? I say this is my tablet here, if I can get it open. I'm leaving it on my tablet, I don't know if you can see that on the tablet. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a button there that's got pi on it, basically. Yeah? But anyway, uh, so I don't know if you've got one on your phone, Computer, your phone calculator, or if you've got a calculator, it's got a lot of time. But for this one, I'll just use 3.14. So we've got circumference equals 3.14 times 7. We could do 3.14 times 7, I won't waste time doing it here. But it comes out, there's nearly enough 22 centimeters. And that's your answer for that one, okay? Yeah, it says, be careful what it says there because pi carries on and on and on and on. It says in the question there, it says give your answer correct to one decimal place. So you know rounding in decimal places. I think this comes out to 21.89 or something like that. So if we round that up to one decimal place, the 8, 9, the 9 becomes a 9, so it's, it comes out to near enough 22 centimetres. Okay? Right, okay, and then we'll do one more at the end there, um, and I'll leave you to carry on with it. If you look at um, question question eight, this one's the other way around. It says that we have a circular racing track. I don't know any circular racing tracks that normally 
um, thing here is oval shaped screen, but anyway, never mind. It says we have a certain waiting track and the, um, the distance around, basically, the distance around the racing track is 200 meters. Well, if it's a circular racing track and the distance around is 200 meters, that means the circumference is 200. So here we've got, we need to find the diameter. Um, yeah, that's what we're just saying. It says. No, it says the radius, sorry, the radius. So we, we, we have to find the diameter first. So we've got 200 equals pi times the diameter. We got 3.14 times d. So all we do to get rid of 3.14 on this side, divide it on this side. Because we divide it on this side, we have to divide it on this side. So d equals 200 over 3.14. Yeah, just make sure I guess. Okay. So that means that the, the, the diameter is 63. Magnetron 63.7 meters. The question, again, be careful, tricky question sometimes. The question here says, what's the radius of the running track, not the diameter? What's the radius? Radius is half of the diameter. So the diameter is 63, the radius is the diameter over 2. So in this case, we have 63.7 divided by 2. Um, 31.8 31.8 or something like that meters again your calculators might work it out slightly different to mine because I'm just using 3.14 ok so that's what we have to do here um, just look through uh, go through the, the exercises in the book there and uh, work out the radiuses radius radiuses no radii I think it is um, or the um, diameters or the circumferences depending on the question. Alright, okay, I'll leave you to get on with it.